mouvons, mouvons dans Bétard, à Savior understand, it shall be well. Amen. We are going into deliverance prayer for the next 30 minutes. And I want everybody to be on his or her feet. In this section of prayer, I listened to a message by our Father in the Lord. That was on the 11th of last month, titled, Free Yourself from Satan. When I see that title, I began to reason what it meant. And then I studied the message. And I saw that the inspiration in that message was much. And since on that March 11th, I have been using that. Even this morning, around 4 a.m. or thereabout, I listened to that message again. Free yourself from Satan. Yes, we know Satan is the enemy of man. But it's beyond what we think. 2 Timothy 2.26 I read, don't open your Bible And that they may recover themselves Out of the snares of the devil Who are, who are taken captive by him at his will Daddy used one of, this, one of the scriptures This scripture was there At his will Not at your will but at the will of Satan, he is taken captive. That is to say, many are in Satan's prison. Many. Even in the church. All in the world are in his prison. The political class, all are in his prison. And in the church, even in holiness churches, many are in his prison. Many are in his prison. And if you look at Psalm 142, before we start prayer, Psalm 142 will tell you to know. Verse 7 I read, Bring my soul out of prison. Whose prison was this? Satanic prison. And these characters, even as daddy is preaching of sanctification, the one that is still in you and is a sin, you are in this prison of Satan. We are going to lift our voice to prayer and ask God. Although 1 John 3 verse 8, for this captive Satan take at his own will and put them in prison. The son of man was made manifest that he might destroy the works of Satan. We are going to lift our voice to cry to God. In any level, I am a prisoner to Satan. Is he in anger? Because if you have uncontrollable anger, you are in satanic prison. Is he in malice? Just name it. You are in satanic prison. Don't want again. Don't remember what I'm on. Embracing is there, you are in prison. We are going to lift our voice in prayer. Say, oh Lord, deliver me. From the prison of Satan. Deliver me from, the ang from anger. Deliver me from bitterness. Murmuring and complaining. Hypocrisy. Deliver me immoral thought. Unrighteous thought. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Bring me out. Set out, out of this prison of Satan. Lift your voice in prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we are praying, oh Lord. That you bring my soul out of the satanic prison. In any level, oh Lord, I have been a prison of Satan. In anger, in bitterness, in pride, lust of the eye, lust of the flesh. Oh Lord, bring my soul out of the prison of Satan. Deliver me, Lord Jesus. Deliver me, Lord Jesus, from satanic prison. From satanic prison. Bring me out of the prison of Satan. Bring me out of the prison of Satan. The prison of Satan through my tongue. In the prison of Satan, through covetousness, love of money, immoral thought, in ordinary affection, bring me out, O oh Lord, from Satan in prison. Open your mouth and pray. This is a personal deliverance prayer. 
open your mouth and deliver yourself from the prison of Satan. The prison of the flesh. If you are in the flesh, you are in prison of Satan. Once bring me out, bring my wife out, bring my children, my grandchildren, the state of Lord, I'm the overseer, the units and chapters, the regions, bring out of satanic prisons, bring us out of satanic prisons, bring us out of satanic prisons, Jesus, deliver us so long. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bring my family out of prison. Bring me out of the prison of Satan. In every area. In Jesus' name we pray. In that message, Daddy said, some people are initiated while they were in the womb of their mother. They are born on earth, but they are born in satanic prison. Some people are dedicated when they were young. Some as they go ahead, they come in contact with evil. Either they are initiated in one way or the other. You remain in this prison. You don't know why the, way, the things that are happening to you, why they are happening. How can a child in the mother's womb be dedicated to Satan? And from the womb, the child is in prison. You're going to open your mouth to pray. Say, oh Lord, every dedication done by my parents, my four parents, when I was in the womb, unknown to me, they have made me a satanic prisoner. Deliver me, Lord. Every dedication done as I was born to any deity in my community, anywhere, Oh Lord, deliver me. Deliver me. At any level, I became an agent of Satan. I became a Satan prisoner. Oh Lord, arise up for me. Arise for me. Set me free. Bring me out. Bring me out of Satan in prison. Destroy that covenant. Destroy that dedication. Open your mind in prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, even though I was dedicated in my mother's womb, or before I was born as I was born in any way, oh Lord, destroy this dedication. Destroy this dedication. Set me free. Set me free. Set me free from any dedication from the womb. Set my wife free. Set my children free. My grandchildren. Set us free from any dedication. Any dedication that have made me a prisoner of Satan. A prisoner of Satan. Set me free, Lord. Set me free, O oh Lord. Bring me out of the prison of Satan. Bring me out of the prison of Satan. In Jesus' name we pray. Acts of Apostles chapter 12. I'm reading from verse 4. Let me start from verse 6. And when Herod would have brought him forth, the same night, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains and the keepers before the door kept the prison. Listen. Peter was kept in prison. Not just a cell, but in prison. And inside this prison, they have gate one, gate, gate one, gate two, gate three. The first, uh, one of the gates is called the iron gate. Peter could no longer pray for his deliverance. In prison, the Satan put chain in his hand and leg. Apart from that, there are two soldiers, one by his right, one by his left. How can he escape? I don't think that that man has any way of route of escape saved by the living God. Amen. Seven. And behold, the angel of the Lord came, up, came upon him and a light shined in the prison and he smote Peter on the side and raised him up, saying, Arise up quickly. And his chains fell off from him. Fell off from his hand. And the angel said unto him, Get thyself and bind Get thyself and bind thy sandal. And so he did. And he said unto him, Cast thy garment above thee and follow me. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We're going to pray. Any prison I am kept 
on that chain with demonic soldiers watching over me. Oh Lord, let that chain be, be loosed by fire. Be loosed by fire. Any demonic soldier monitoring me in prison. Oh Lord, send that angel, the angel that got to prisons and set their children free. Let that angel come down and bring me out of the prison. Open your mouth and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, any chain, any prison chain in my hand and leg, we check and are good upon me that I cannot escape with the soldiers of Satan by my right and by my left. Oh, Lord, my God, let your fire consume that chain and let that chain be broken and let that chain be broken and send the angel, oh, Lord, that goes to prison to release your children, to release satanic prisoners and let that angel come and bring me out of the prison 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 in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus oh Lord let that angel come send that angel there for him to come and bring me out of the prison in Jesus name we pray we are still going to pray personal deliverance Psalm 35 verse 1 plead my cause oh Lord with them that strive with me. Plead my cause, O Lord. With them that strive with me. Fight against them that fight against me. O Lord. O Lord. O Lord. O Lord. Plead my cause. With them that strive with me. Fight against them. That fight against me. Lift your voice in prayer. Your prayer is God, whoever is fighting against you, as a witch, as a wizard, from any kingdom, let God strive against them. Let God fight against them. Father, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord, plead my cause. Whoever is fighting against me, striving against me, my father strive against him, strive against her. Those fighting against me, my father fight against them, fight against her. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, plead my cause, plead my cause, fight my battle, fight my battle. In the day, fight my battle. In the night, fight my battle. Fight my battle, oh Lord. Wherever they have said this battle, is it in the sea? Fight my battle. Is it in the air, in the forest? in the mountain. Fight my battle, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Verse 2. Verse 2. Take hold of the shield and buckler and stand up for my help. You want to call on God to take hold of his shield and buckler and may God stand up for your help. No one can help you. The devil cannot help you. Your father, your mother cannot help you. Your community cannot help you. Only Jesus can help you. Only Jesus can save. Oh Lord my God. Take hold of the shield and buckler. And stand up for my help. My helper. My helper. Jesus, my helper. Stand up for my help. Lift your voice in prayer. Yeah. Oh my help. Stand up for the help of Horemon. Stand up for the help of the Vasias, the units, the chapters, the regions. Stand up for us, O Lord. Take hold of the shade and buckler. Take hold of the shade and buckler. Take hold of the shade and buckler. Stand up for us. Stand up for the help of my grandchildren. Stand up for the help of my wife. Stand up for the help, oh Lord, of the state you have blessed me. Stand up for the women. Stand up for the help of the women. Stand up for the help of the women. Stand up for the help of the children. Stand up for the help of the men and the youth. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Verse 3. Draw out also despair. And stop the way against them that persecute me. Say unto my soul, I am thy salvation. O oh Lord my God, draw out your spear. Stop the way of every witch, wizard, marine agent, occultic agent, wickedness, wicked men, wicked women, sickness, failure, poverty, 
Oh Lord, say unto my soul, say unto my soul, Jesus, say unto my soul, you are my salvation. Jesus, you are my salvation. Say to my soul, you are my salvation. Oh Lord, stop them, oh Lord. Open your mouth in prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, stop the word of them, O oh Lord. Stop the word of them, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, draw us so that's fair and stop the way. Stop the way of the witches. Stop the way of the wizard. Stop the way of marine or cultic way, wicked way, anywhere, O oh Lord. Stop their way. Stop their way. Stop their way. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Verse 4. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that divides my heart. Oh Lord my God. Let them be confounded and put to shame. Let Satan and his children be confounded and put to shame. Let Marina Jam be confounded and put to shame. Let the witches be confounded and put to shame. Those that seek after my soul, turn them back, O oh Lord. Brought them into confusion. All that are devising my heart, all that are devising my soul, that I will not live a righteous life, that I will not make it to heaven. Lift their voice in prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul. I seek after my soul. All that are seeking after my soul in the sea, let them be confounded. In the air, let them be confounded. On the land, let them be confounded. In the mountain, let them be confounded. Let them be confounded. Let them be confounded. And may they be put to shame. Put them to shame that seek after my soul. That seek after my soul. Turn them back, O oh Lord. Turn them back, O oh Lord. That device my heart. That device my heart. In Jesus' name we pray. Five. Let them be as chaff before the wind. And let the angel of the Lord chase them. O oh Lord my God. Whoever in my family. In my family. My father's side. My mother's side. Where I schooled. Where I am living. Whoever. Whoever. That is after me. That is after me. Let him be as a chaff. Let him become a chaff. A chaff before the wind. Let the witches be chaff before the wind. Let the wizard be chaff before the wind. Let the marine or call be chaff before the wind. And let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let the angel of the Lord chase them. In their sleep, let the angel of the Lord chase them. When they are awake, let the angel of the Lord chase them. Wherever they are, let the angel of the Lord chase them. Turn it to prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let them be as chaff. Oh Lord, let them be as chaff before the wind. Oh Lord, let the angel of the Lord chase them. Chase them in the day, in the night. Chase them in their sleep when they're traveling. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Chase every witch, every wizard. In my family. In my family. In my family. In my father's side. In my mother's side. In where them all. Chase every witch in where them all. Let every witch in where them all become a child before the wind. Let every wizard become a child before the wind. In Jesus' name we pray. We are still going to pray on verse 5. Oh Lord my God. Every witch, every wizard, in Horemon, as a leader, as a member, let the angel of the Lord chase them, chase them, wherever they may be, in their common, let the angels chase them there, in the air, let the angels chase them in the air. Are they in this conference? Are they in this conference? Let the angel of the Lord chase them in this conference. Love your mouth in prayer. Open your mouth in prayer. Father Lord, let every witch in Horemon. Let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let the angel of the Lord chase them. In Jesus' name we pray. Verse 6. Let their way be dark and slippery. I'm coming. Let their way be dark and slippery. And let the angel of the Lord persecute them. Oh Lord my God. Whoever is after me. Let him let his way be dark and slippery. Let her way be dark and slippery. Which is in Horemon. Wizards in Horemon. Let your way be dark and slippery. In the units, dark and slippery. In the chapters, dark and slippery. In the regions, dark and slippery. In the name of Jesus. Let the angel of the Lord 
persecute them in the day in the night persecute them in this conference open your mind in prayer Father, in the name of Jesus, let the world the witches be dark and slippery. And may the angel of the Lord persecute them, chase them, persecute them, chase them, persecute them, chase them, persecute them, chase them. Oh Lord, my God, every witch in Horemo, as a leader, let her way be dark and slippery. As a member, let this way be dark and slippery. And let the angel of the Lord, let the angel of the Lord chase them. Chase them in their coven. Chase them in the, in the marine. Chase them in their temple. Wherever they may be. Wherever they may be. Let the angel of the Lord persecute them. Persecute them in their sleep. When they are awake. In Jesus' name we pray. Verse 7. For with that cause have they hid from me their night in a pit. Which with that cause they have dig for me. 8. Let destruction before we read it, I was doing an interview with Pastor Patrick yesterday. A little girl of 11 years says she's a witch, but she has not initiated anybody. What her duty is, she's an executioner. Only killing, she kills. That her duty in the coven is, she's an executioner. She does not initiate, but this person has been programmed for kill. She will go and kill. She called names of those she killed. The mother affirmed when they died. Amen. Let's go back to verse 8. Verse 8 says, Let destruction come upon them unawares. Oh Lord my God. Let destruction come upon witches and wizards unawares. Come upon marine agents unaware. Or cultic agents unaware. Wickedness unaware. All that are fighting for them all with the mind of Satan, let destruction come upon them unawares. Come upon them unawares. Let them fall into that very pit. Into that very pit. They dug for them all. Lift their voice in prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, let destruction come upon the witches and wizards unawares. Let it come upon them unawares. The pit they dug for us, they shall fall into that pit. They shall enter that pit. They shall enter into that pit. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord. Any, anybody. Wickedness of men. Planning evil against all them all. Let their evil be upon them. In Jesus name we pray. Lift up your hands. In Jesus name. Oh Lord you said in Matthew 10 19. Behold I give unto you power. To tread on serpents and scorpions and over the powers of the enemy. Jesus is telling us, he has given us power to tremble on Satan, the scorpion, the serpent, the scorpions, demon, and the agents, other powers of the enemy. And nothing shall happen to you. Oh Lord, as these hands are up, let the authority of my, Luke 10, 19 come upon them. Yeah. That from today, they will trample Satan under their feet. They will trample wizards under their feet. They will trample demons under their feet. Every power of darkness, they will trample under their feet. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Give them the power, O oh Lord, to overcome Satan by the blood of the Lamb and by the most of their testimony. They will overcome Satan in their life. They will overcome Satan in their marriage. They will overcome Satan in their ministry. They will overcome Satan in their business. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Take their hand to battle. Teach them to battle from today. In Jesus' name we pray. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. We are victorious. Yes. Glory be to God who has given us victory. I say victory. It's time for healing. Yes, we are victorious. Glory be to God who has given us victory. Amen. Have your seat briefly and turn to the book of Matthew chapter 11. I want to tell you why God is interested in your healing this afternoon. 
so that you will not think maybe will God give me? God wants to do something concerning your hell. I said this time. And he will do it in Jesus' name. I said the Lord will do it in Jesus' name. Matthew chapter 11 verse 2. Now, when John had heard in prison the works of Christ, he sent two of his disciples and said unto him, Art thou he that should come? Or do we look for another? Jesus answered and said unto them, Go and show John again those things which ye do hear and see. What are those things? The blind receive their sight, and the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear, the dead are raised up, and the poor have the gospel preached to them. Amen. John introduced Jesus as the, the lamb. But a time came that the heart of John was shaken. John was not believing what he said again. He sent people to Jesus. Are you truly the one that is to come? Jesus was wondering, which scripture will I quote now that will recover John? What will I say now that will recover John? He said, go and show John. Show him what you have seen. What are those things? The blind see. The lame walk. The deaf hears. I want to tell you that the miracle that is coming upon you this afternoon is for your relation at home to hear and be born again. God will drop miracle in your hand. That your healing when you go home and say, my husband, that thing that is pending me has gone. The man will believe. You will recover the man. Your testimony will recover your husband. Your testimony will recover your neighbor. Your testimony will recover your friend. Can you be on your feet now and receive your healing? Healing is coming upon you. You will use that healing to win your neighbor. You will use that healing to win your husband. You will use that testimony to win even those that didn't believe in Horemo. They will say, now we know God is in Horemo. Can you lift up your hand and say, God, heal me. God, heal me. What did that hell challenge is? What is that hell challenge you are passing through? Open your mouth and ask the Lord. Don't close your mouth. Say, Lord, take away this headache. Take away this hypertension. Take away this liver's problem. Take away this arthritis. Take away this problem, Lord, from my life. It's time for healing. It's time for healing. God wants to put healing in your hand so that the testimony of it shall convert your husband. By the time you go back home, and tell the man the ulcer is gone. The hypertension is gone. The man will say, now I know that is God in holiness of our movement. By the time you go back and say, that back egg is gone. The people will know, oh, God is going to open your eyes. I say your eyes will be open. Your eyes will be open today. God is taking away that sickness. Why? He wants to use your testimony to convince your hardened husband, to convince your hardened children, to convince your hardened neighbor. Go and show John. Why will you show your husband after this conference? Why will you show your neighbor after this conference? My head death is gone. My head problem is gone. The stomach pain is gone. The ulcer is gone. The barrenness is gone. Open your mother, pray. Pray like one that is expecting something. Pray like one that is expecting something. Like one that is demanding something from the Lord. I say, open your mother, pray. We have only a few minutes. Don't allow this heaven. Don't allow, don't allow this few minutes to pass you. The Lord will do something new in your life. Go to miracle is here. Go to miracle is here. He said he wants to do it. So that when you go, your testimony, you will go and show your community. You will go and show your community what Jesus did for you in holiness campground. Go and show John again how the blind see, the limb walk, the limb walk, the blind see, the dead 
here, they don't speak. Power is coming from above. Power is coming from above. Where are you, my sister? Your healing is coming. I say your healing is coming. Jesus wants to do it. He wants you to go and testify to your colleagues. Jesus wants you to go and testify to your colleagues. How he removed hypertension without drugs. How he removed that appendix without oppression. How he removed that sickness without any medical attention. Jesus wants to do it so that your testimony will win souls. Your testimony will shake the city. Your testimony will shake the city. If you are interested in that, if you want Jesus to give you a testimony that will convert your husband, pray endlessly. Pray endlessly. Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hey, your healing is come. The Lord is going to minister healing to you now. It's time for healing. It's time for healing. It's time for healing. It's time for healing. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Lord is passing by. The Lord God Almighty is passing by. The Lord God Almighty is passing by. He wants to drop in you healing that will convert your community. Healing that will do something great in your family. Healing that your people will say, eh. So truly God is in that place. Truly God is in that place. Truly God is in that place. In Jesus' name we pray. I told you the reason why Jesus wants to give you a miracle. He said he wants to give you a miracle so that those who say God has left Horemon will know that God is still here. He said go and tell John the thing you see. You will raise up your hand now. And say, my father, I, we have short time. You will say, my father, let healing rain from my hand down to the sole of my feet. Let healing pass through my blood down to my feet. Let every health challenge disappear. Open your mother, pray. I said, Jesus wants to win the whole world. He wants to give you testimony. Those going to the north, we go and share the testimony. Those going outside the country, we go and share the testimony. Those going to the south are going to share the testimony. Those going to the west are going to share the testimony. How mighty the power of God come upon him in Horimo come ground. Go and show the people. Go and show the people how God opened your eyes. How God removed your fever. How God removed your arthritis. How God removed your health challenge. Receive it now. Receive your healing. 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 The Lord will do it for you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Heal your people, Lord. Open the windows of heaven, my Father. Open the doors of heaven, my Father. Let the dam of revival, oh Lord Jesus, be broken. That the power of God will flow upon his people. And make them heal. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. In Jesus name. Thank you father. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. In Jesus name we pray. I want to read Matthew chapter 10. For you verse 1. And when he had called unto him. His 12 disciples. He gave them power. He gave them power against unclean spirits. To do what? To do what? To do what? We are going to cast them out. You are going to command every spirit of sickness in my life, get out! Every power of sickness in my life, get out! Every power of affliction in my life, get out! Command that spirit to go out. Command that spirit to go out. Sickness today, sickness tomorrow. Sickness today, sickness tomorrow. The Lord end that sickness in your life. 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 Oh Lord, open windows of healing. Open windows of healing. Jesus. Jesus. Hey, to cast out unclean spirits. To cast out unclean spirits. 
to cast out unclean spirits, spirit of sickness, spirit of blood, spirit of sickness, it's your blood, spirit of sickness. Get out in the name of Jesus. Get out in the name of Jesus. Oh, the Lord do it in your life. The Lord do it in your life. The Lord do it in your life. Healing. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Get out in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Now listen. After casting them out, the Bible says, and to heal. Everybody say, and to heal. And to heal all manner of sickness and disease. Listen. Do you know why the Bible calls it all manner? Because when this Bible was written, COVID-19 has not come. HIV has not come. That is why Jesus didn't list the name. He said all manner. So that whoever wants Satan will manufacture after 100 years, we still fall inside this old manner. Are you hearing me? So every manner of sickness in your body, go out in Jesus' name. Open your mother say, the one you know the name, the one you don't know the name, command it to come. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Every manner. All manner. All manner. All manner. The one doctor don't know the name. The one doctor don't know the name. The one that know the name. The one medical people don't know the name. Come out. Hey, Jesus. Come out. I said, 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 come out. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Spiritual sickness. Spiritual sickness. Physical sickness. All kind of sickness. All kind of sickness. All kind of sickness. I command you in the name of Jesus. Come out. I command you in the name of Jesus. Come out. I command you in the name of Jesus. Come out. I command you in the name of Jesus. Come out. Your name is not written. Because the name of Jesus is higher than it. The name of Jesus is higher than it. The name of Jesus is higher than your sickness. The name of Jesus is higher than your sickness. I command you come out. You sickness come out. You sickness come out. Oh Jesus. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. In the name of Jesus. Thank you Father. Thank you Father. Thank you Father. Jesus. 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 Receive healing. Receive your healing. The sickness you don't know the name. The one you know the name is coming out now. It's coming out now. It's coming out now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Philippians chapter 2, very fast. Because my time is going. Philippians chapter 2, verse 9. Wherefore, God also have highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. That at the name of Jesus. That at the name of Jesus. That at the name of Jesus. I want everybody to be shouting the name Jesus. Shall be shouting the name Jesus. Shouting the name Jesus. Shouting the name Jesus. Shout in the name Jesus. Hey, call that name. Call that name. At the mission of the name Jesus. That at the name of Jesus. That at the name of Jesus. That at the name of Jesus. Oh, my father. Release healing. Release healing. Release healing. Call the name Jesus. In the name of Jesus. At the name Jesus. At the name Jesus. Oh, my, 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 my father. My father. My father. My father. Release power. Release power. Release power. Release power. Hey, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Now listen, listen. Everywhere quiet. Everywhere quiet. Listen. Listen. Are you ready? Yes. That. 
the name of Jesus, every nail should bow of things in where? And things in where? And things under the earth. Listen, everywhere quiet. God says at the mention of the name Jesus, nail will start bowing from heaven. If nails in heaven bow, then the one on earth is automatic. The one under the head where they will live. Those one, I don't know what to tell them again. I am telling you, is your sickness in heaven or on earth? Your sickness on earth, right? If nail bow in heaven, your sickness disappear. If nail bow in heaven, your head challenges disappear. If nail bow in heaven, that barrenness in you disappear. Open your mouth and say, disappear. Disappear in the name of Jesus. My sickness disappear in the name of Jesus. My sickness disappear in the name of Jesus. Barrenness disappear in the name of Jesus. Hell challenge disappear in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Yes, it must bow. It must bow. It must bow. It must bow. Jesus. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Bow in the name of Jesus. Bow in the name of Jesus. Bow in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Amen. Amen. All oh, the women that are expecting baby. Do your hand as if you are collecting your baby now. Jesus is bringing down baby to you. In this camp, you will see Inja hand the baby over to you. By this time next year, you will come with your child and give glory to the name of the Lord. Open your womb to be open. Lay your hand on your stomach and say, my womb, I command you open in the name of Jesus. My womb, I command you open in the name of Jesus. My womb, if you are standing for somebody, pray for that person. If you are standing like a Canada woman, maybe you are standing for your daughter, you are standing for your servant, you are standing for somebody, Said, Lord, open her womb. Lord, open her womb. Lord, open her womb. John fed with this woman. That the, that the name of the Lord be glorified. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We worship you, Father. We worship you, Father. Hey, Jehovah, you are good. In Jesus' name, we pray. Finally lay your hand on your body. I have told you that Jesus is interested in your miracle because of your testimony. As you go to the north, east, south ways, outside the country, and tell them what Jesus has done for you, the people will believe. Is that okay? Our God in heaven, we worship you. Our Father in heaven, we thank you. Because you have chosen to do this thing for your name. You have chosen to heal your children. So that that testimony should deliver those whom heart has backslidden. Do it my father. Do it my father. Remove the headaches. Remove the hypertension. Remove the stomach ache. Remove the heart attack. Remove the arthritis. Remove the barrenness. Remove the challenges in the night. Remove the challenges in the day. Almighty Father in heaven, rain down blessing of healing upon your children in the name of Jesus. My Father in heaven, I don't know the name of the various sicknesses and diseases, but I know one name, the name Jesus. But I know one name, the name Jesus. And I know, Lord, that heaven we bow, the earth we bow, under the earth we bow at the name of Jesus. Therefore, I command, let your sickness bow, let your disease bow, let your health challenges bow. May the Lord remove your sickness. 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 May the Lord perfect your health. In the name of Jesus. Go and share your
your testimony. It will convert your unbelieving husband. In Jesus' name. Thank you. The Lord bless you. Praise the Lord. Yes, another package. Most of us, we don't understand what is happening. I just want to briefly tell you that the angels of God that were around uh, by the testimony of the revelation of our mommy and that were having packages and uh, uh, it was said that they dropped those packages waiting for the people. One of the packages has gone, which is deliverance. Another one has been opened, which is the healing now. Another one is coming your way. There are great packages that will be open to you. The package of prosperity. Everybody say the package of prosperity. You will receive abundance in Jesus name. There shall be showers of blessing send and open on so long. There shall be season refreshing send and open us, O oh Lord. Shall so blessing. Shall us so blessing we name. Mercy drum round us are falling. But for the shower we play. Quickly before we get the package open and the sharing we start. I pray you take your own home in Jesus name. I'm telling you God has prepared great package of prosperity unto you. You will no longer go back the same in Jesus name. Yes, in the book of uh, uh, Psalms, chapter 112, 112, there's no need to sit down, 112, I read from verse 1, Psalms 112, verse 1, praise ye the Lord, blessed is the man that feared God, feared the Lord, that delighted greatly in his commandment, his seed shall be mighty upon earth. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. Weight and riches shall be in his house. Let me hear amen. amen. Weight and riches shall be in his house. And his generation endured forever in riches and prosperity. In Jesus name. Yeah. Lifted, I don't want you to sing this because the Lord has been lifting you up above all sins and all wickedness in your life, and now He's taking you to another dimension, which is prosperity. Lifted, I am lifted, I am lifted by His grace. Yes, above sin and sorrow. Into the presence of the Lord. You are lifted up, lifted. I am lifted. I am lifted by His grace. Above sin and sorrow. Into the presence of our Lord. Hallelujah. I want you to command this declaration before you and say, righteousness and weight belongs to me because of God. Everybody, righteousness and weight belongs to me because of God. Again, righteousness and weight belongs to me because of God. Again, finally, righteousness and weight belongs to me because of God. Just turn it to prayer and begin to declare it. Say righteousness belongs to me. Righteousness and weight belongs to me. Prosperity belongs to me. God has pronounced it. The Lord has declared it. 
the Lord had, has made it to come to pass that in this conference you will go back different you will go back different you no longer be poor the Lord will pour out his righteousness on you the Lord will pour out his weight on you the prosperity of the Lord is coming your way receive in abundance declare it declare it righteousness and weight belong to me they belong to me because of God God say you shall be righteous the Lord say you shall prosper the Lord say you shall have weight you shall have abundance he has not created you to be in poverty no the Lord has created you to enjoy prosperity to enjoy prosperity to spend all your years in prosperity yes now it's going to be abundance in your life. Abundance in your life as you declare it. I'm not going to be poor. I am not going to be poor. Every yoke of poverty. Every yoke of poverty. I command you. Decree that yoke to be broken in your life. That yoke to be broken in your life. Every connection of poverty. In the ancestors. In your ancestors. Every connection of poverty. In your family. Whatsoever declaration has been made by the forefathers in your family, that yoke must be broken. That yoke must be broken. Declare it. Declare it. Command that yoke to be broken. The yoke of poverty. I command you by the authority of Jesus. Authority of Jesus. Authority of Jesus. Righteousness and weight belong to me because of Jesus. Righteousness and weight belongs to me because of Jesus. I will not be poor. I will not be poor. I will not be poor. I will prosper in my health. I will prosper in my health. I will prosper in my ministry. I will prosper in my business. I will prosper in my working place. Prosperity shall come. Promotion is coming on your way. Promotion is coming your way. It's coming your way. Declare it. It will come to pass. It is coming to pass. Yes, that is it. It will happen. It will happen. The Lord will bring it to pass. God will bring it to pass. Yes, the Lord has promised. And it shall come to pass. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Yes, look at the promises of the Lord in Jewel chapter 2. I read from verse 25. And I will restore to you the years of the locusts had eaten and the canker worm and the caterpillars and the palmer worm and, and, and the caterpillar and the palmer worms. My great army which I sent among you shall rule your life and your life will never remain the same in Jesus name now you are going to pray for restoration that the Lord will restore all all that has happened in your life has happened in your family I don't know some of the family have, have been covenanted with demons and those demons have cursed the family and there's a lot of poverty following you following your husband Follow everyone in the family. You are going to pray, God, restore the originality of my life and my family. I shall not be poor. Riches. I shall dwell in riches. My husband shall be in riches. Every case, following my husband, following my family. Lord, I command you to perish. Command you to perish. And let there be restoration. Restoration in your life. Restoration to the fullness of God. The fullness of Jesus. The fullness of the Father. Let there be restoration. Command restoration in your life. Restoration. All poverty go. All poverty declare it finished. Declare it gone. Let poverty in your family. Poverty in the life of your husband. Yes. Pray that the Lord will do it. God will do it. He will make it to come to pass. The Lord has promised. With God all things are possible. All things are possible. In all ye are more than conquerors. Ye are more than conquerors. Yes you will conquer it. You will conquer all the, the caterpillars. All the palmer worms. All the locusts. That have taken over the family. That have been able to devour your, the prosperity in your family. The law will restore originally. We restore your riches in original way. In the fullness of it. Every caterpillar die. Every canker worm in your family. In your working place. In your business die. 
die. Every Pama won't die. Every locus die. Let there be restoration. Let there be restoration. Fullness of prosperity. Fullness of prosperity. Let there be money. Financial breakthrough. Financial breakthrough. The doors of financial. Your door, the doors of financial that have been closed against you. Let them be open. Let them be open. 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 Financial door open. 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 Open the life of that sister. Open the life of that sister. Open the life of that sister. Open the family of that sister. Open the family of that sister. Open, open, open. Yes, your business now will go well. Yes, promotion will come unto you. Which cometh to the Father, cometh from God, that giveth it, the Lord will promote you. He's taking you to another level. God is taking you to another level. It will happen. It will happen. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Yes, we know that Jacob was blessed by God. But yet, Jacob had to prevail. He has to fight the battle, fought with an angel. Now, you are going to enter into battle. Wherever your weight is, and whatever demons that is responsible in hijacking that weight, every, every demonic column, demonic altar that has been there written, that you will not make it. That altar should collapse. I said that altar should collapse. The power of the Lord will come down with fire. Release the fire. Release the fire. Every altar, every demonic cover that have hijacked your prosperity. In any way, in any way. Yes, for you to prosper in your health. Prosper in your health. Prosper in in, in your business, prosper anywhere, whatever your hand touches. The Bible says it shall be blessing. It shall be the blessings of the Lord. You are touching the blessings of the Lord. You go to farm. You are touching the blessings of the Lord. In your business, you are touching the blessings of the Lord. Yes, in your working place, you are touching the blessings of the Lord. Let it happen. 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 Let there be fire. Let there be fire. Release the fire. Release the fire. Every cover, every satanic altar, collapse. Collapse. Collapse by fire. Collapse by fire. Release your blessing. Release your blessing. Let the altar release your blessing. Altar release my blessing. Release my blessing. Your blessing is coming back. Your blessing is coming back. Yes, every power that have hijacked the prosperity of your family. That power, that power should be brought low. That power should scatter. That power should receive fire. 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 St. John the Baptist, the kingdom of God so far violent and the violent take it by force. Take your prosperity now. I said take it now. It has been released. The package has been opened. Yes, the sharing is going on. The sharing is going on. As you pray hard, you shall receive from the angels. You shall receive the, from the angels. The distribution is going on. Distribution. Distribution is going on. Receive. 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 In abundance. In abundance. In abundance. The Lord wishes you good. Your God wishes you good. You are not going back to say, you are going back a transformer, a change generation, a change generation. It shall be well with you. Sister, it shall be well with your family. It shall be well with your husband. It shall be well with your children. Yes, you shall spend your years in prosperity. Spend all your years in prosperity. The Lord will do that. God will do it for you. The Lord will do it for you. Receive your package. 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 As Jacob prevail, fight the battle unless you bless me. Unless you bless me. Take God unless you bless me. Oh Lord, unless you bless me, I will never let you go. I will never let you go. I will never let you go. Unless I'm blessed in the conference. Unless I'm blessed in the conference. Receive of the blessings of the Lord. Receive of the blessings of the Lord. It's coming your way. It's coming your way. It's coming your way. The Lord wants to restore you. The Lord God wants to restore you to fullness. 
Yes, you shall have it. You shall have it. You shall have it. You shall have it. In abundance. In abundance. It's coming your way. It's coming your way. It's coming your way. Take it by force. 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 That is it. That is it. Yes. That is it. The Lord will do it. All doors open. All closed door open. Doors to prosperity. Yes. An effectual door is open unto you. Yes. Don't care of the adversity. Don't care about it. You have fought it. You have fought it. You shall have it. You shall have it. It's coming. It is happening to you. It is happening to you right now. Right now it's coming your way. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Yes, the battle has not ended yet. I got to come in contact with a man who actually revealed some mysteries. He told me that actually in their family, their forefather has seek for royalty in the kingdom of darkness. And uh, what he was able to pay, that they were able to release that royalty in the witchcraft to him was his descendant. The prosperity of his descendant. That this family I see will be made poor. Anyone who struggles to become rich will either fail victim of kidney if, uh, failure or diabetes and whatever and will spend his money and die. He refused it to me. I, I was encouraging him, come to the law. It is only the, in the law that you can be delivered of this case from your ancestors. Praise the Lord! You are going to deliver yourself today. I say you are going to deliver yourself from every ancestor's case and every ancestor's foundation. By the power of the law, the Bible says you shall decree it. In. Open your mouth as you decree deliverance to yourself in the name of Jesus, to your family in the name of Jesus. Every ancestor's foundation, every ancestor's foundation, yes, in your family, in your life, yes, in your family, whatsoever the foundation is and the case of the ancestors, whatsoever the ancestors have done, you're coming out. I say you're coming out, you're coming out. You're pulling out now. Pull out. Pull out. Pull out. Reject it. Reject it. Say no to it. Say no to it. If any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things passes away. Behold, all things have become new. You are a new man. You are a new creature. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Of ancestors foundation. Ancestors wickedness. Ancestors cage and covenant. Come out of that covenant. Come out of the covenant of ancestors. Make yourself free. Make yourself free in Jesus. You receive your freedom. In Christ, you receive your freedom. You are free from their sickness. You are free from the type of sickness of that family. You are free, yes, from the death of that family. You are free from the cases of the ancestors God. You are free. Make yourself free. Come out. Come out, come out, reject it and say no. Reject it and say no. I'm coming out. I am coming out. I am coming out. I am coming out. Yes, I am coming out. Yes, I am coming out. Come out. Come out of the power. Come out of that case of the ancestor. Make yourself free now. Make yourself free now. You're free. You're free. Declare freedom. Declare freedom. Yes, to your family. Declare freedom to your family. It is happening. It is happening. It is happening. Thank you, Father. Wonderful. The people are coming out. The people are coming out. The families are becoming free. Your husband is free. Yourself, you're free. Your children, you're free. Freedom. 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 From every cases. Go and prosper. Go and prosper. Yes. The Lord has pronounced prosperity on you. It is done. It is done in your life. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Every power troubling my life. Every power troubling my life. 
Every power I cannot overcome. Holy Ghost fire, destroy them now. Every trouble in my yes in prayer. Trouble in my life. Every power I cannot overcome. Holy Ghost fire. Destroy them now. Every power troubling your family. Every power troubling your life. Your husband. Every power I cannot overcome. Holy Ghost fire. Destroy them now. Sin. Power. That is it. All the powers of ancestors' gods. Overcome. Holy Ghost fire, destroy them now. Holy Ghost fire, so them now. Holy Ghost fire, destroy them. Holy Ghost fire, destroy them now. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Yes, Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. In Jesus mighty name we pray <laughs> beloved I wish you above all things that ye prosper and live in good health the Lord is willing that you should spend your years in prosperity and good health you are going to get money and you will not spend your money because of sickness so you are going to pray and ask the Lord to establish that verse in your life and in your family that as you are going to make riches you are going to prosper yes above all things you will live in good health in good health in good health all the days of your prosperity your life will, you will spend in prosperity this day the Lord has promised and it will come to pass in your life and health shall also be attached to it shall also be given to you you will live in good health Live in good health. You shall make money and live in good health. Ask the Lord to accompany it with health. Accompany your money with health, your prosperity with health. Pray that the Lord will help you. Pray that Jesus will give you the grace. We give you the grace. And we will help you to prosper and live in good health. It's coming your way. Yes, that is it. It's happening. Good health. Good health. Good health. Good health. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Prosperity is coming your way. You shall prosper in your body. You shall prosper in your family. Yes. They are married. Get ready now. The Lord is going to prosper you. You are going to marry this year. The Lord is bringing a husband. He's bringing a wife unto you. Receive in Jesus name. Yes, the widows in a mix. The Lord is going to revisit you. I said the Lord is going to revisit you. Yes, you shall got a partner from the Lord. Receive and begin to pray in Jesus' name. Pray and tell the Lord. Open your mouth and tell the Lord that the Lord help me to prosper. Help me to marry. The Lord open all doors of marriage unto the widow, unto the widows. And unto those, those pistas that have never gotten the will of God, the Lord will expose it. The Lord will bring it to come to pass. It will happen this year. After this conference, miracles will take place in your life. Miracles will take place in your life. In fact, it shall be wonderful. Testimony shall be everywhere. Testimony shall be everywhere. Receive. I say receive as you're praying. Receive as you're praying. Receive as you're praying. Receive. Receive, receive. There's a sharing now. The Lord has opened a package for you and is distributing. Is giving your share. Your share is given to you. Receive. Yes, receive. Receive. 
receive in abundance the lord the lord has promised and it shall come to pass it shall come to pass in your life you shall see your husband you shall see your wife you shall be wedded in the holy church of god it will happen thank you father in jesus mighty name we pray the lord prosper you in jesus name yes the jobless get ready now job is coming i say the lord is bringing a job unto you you shall see work to do and to that the lord will use and prosper you the lord will make a way where there seems to be no way i'm telling you your miracle is coming receive job opportunity in jesus name open your mouth and claim it i want you to claim it claim the job claim the type of job you want that which you have been praying that god shall give it unto me oh lord oh lord i need one of the job i need it lord prosper me oh lord give me a job father give me a job Lord, give me a job. Oh, Lord, prosper me. In this way, I'm expecting a job, Lord. Father, I believe. I trust in you. I trust in you. It's coming to pass. It's coming to pass. Your progress. You're making progress. You're making progress. You're making progress. You're making progress. It will happen. This year, you shall celebrate a job. You shall celebrate a job. You shall celebrate promotions in your office. Yes, we shall celebrate promotion in your office. It's coming to pass. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Yes, you have been expecting promotion in ministry. The Lord will excel your ministry. I'm telling you, after this conference, the Lord will come to you. And we take you to another level. I say we take you to another level. Believe it and shout, Amen. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for prosperity. It's coming from the Lord to his people. God has decided to prosper his people. Mighty God, I pray, our prosperity will not end it until Christ appears in Jesus' name. Father, we come against all the canker worm and the caterpillars and the palma worms and the locusts. We pray that they will perish. I pray in every aspect of our life, every power standing against us is brought low in Jesus' name. Pros prosper us without end. We thank you, Father. As we go, we celebrate in testimony. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. And we give a clap offering to Jesus. Keep clapping for Jesus. The Lord Jesus is in our midst. Hallelujah. Oh, that man will praise the Lord. Oh, that man will praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works. For his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men, to the children. He has broken thy gate of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder he has broken thy gate of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder amen. amen hallelujah the lord is leading us the lord has given us understanding and revelation that Many of us receive gift. Amen. Some of these gifts come with conditions of the enemy. I'm talking about gift in your various houses. Some people bring you gift that you are not aware of. Of course, you pray upon them. But we are instructed now to pray against 
evil associated with gifts that I given to you. Amen. So let us stand on our feet, raise an altar against every evil condition associated with a gift. Maybe this gift could be hanging in your palace, could be hanging in your bedroom, in your sitting room. There are signs of the devil associated with them. Let us break their powers in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and break the powers of the kingdom of darkness associated with any gift that is being given to you unknown to you. Father Lord, we commit every gift given unto us. We pray against every demonic condition, every satanic condition precedent associated with this gift. We break the powers of such demon in the name of Jesus Christ. Blessed Redeemer Lord, may you destroy the forces of evil associated with any gift that is hanging in our rooms in our houses, in our premises, in our parameters. Father Lord, destroy the works of the enemy upon such gift. They will not harm us. For the Bible says we shall trample on serpent, they will not harm us. We stand on the authority of the word of God. We decree and declare that such evil shall not harm us. In the name of Jesus Christ. O oh Lord divine, arise, Father Lord, and deliver your children from the forces of evil, from evil demons associated with gifts that are given unto us. We pray against the powers of such demons. We break their powers. We break their bones. We destroy their powers by the authority of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. Father Lord, glorify your name in Jesus' name. We break the powers of demons that are assigned to cause evil in our life. Father Lord, destroy the works of the devil in our life. Every gift that comes with conditions of the devil to destroy our home. Father Lord, we melt them away by the authority of Jesus Christ. And let the power in the name of Jesus destroy such forces of evil in Jesus' name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We worship you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. There are many signs of the occultic world that some of us are not aware of. And in the kingdom of darkness, that which you do not know has great effect on you. Because they use it to manipulate you. Any manipulation from occultic powers, it shall fail against you. Amen. Everybody shout, Amen. Amen. Such powers shall fail in the name of Jesus Christ. The powers of Illuminati, the Freemasons Occult Group, Queen of the Coast, Marine Spirit, witches and wizards that have arrayed around the landscape. Father, Lord, let their powers fail them in Jesus' name. As it concerns our brethren that are standing before you now, Heavenly Father, Lord, we pray, let the power of deliverance come upon us in Jesus' name. Let every evil incantation, let every divination from the kingdom of darkness fail. Let them not walk. They shall not walk as they didn't walk against Judah and Israel. Open your mouth and pray and cancel every divination against you associated with your property. Every incantation associated with your property with gifts that are given to you nullify their powers. Destroy their powers in the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, every great gift given to your children will cancel the powers of the devil in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. We worship you. We bless your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' victorious name, we have prayed. I want us to thank the Lord for answered prayers. Open your mouth and appreciate God for answers to our prayers. For the Bible says, the Lord God Almighty we serve is a prayer answering God. He said, let all flesh come unto me and pray. I will answer. Father, thank you for answering us this afternoon. May glory return to you, Father of glory, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray.
Amen.